Hello my dear friends, welcome to Infigyan in this very very exciting video of algebraic expressions where we'll be solving one interesting question from Olympiads. Equation is x given to us and we have to simplify for the value of x plus 1 whole power 48 plus x plus 1 whole power 72. So let me write, let me begin this video by writing the identity which I will be using while solving that is the difference of a square. So a square minus b square it will be used. So I will write that formula first a square minus b square is equal to a plus b times a minus b. Now one very important algebraic manipulation we will use here that is we will multiply by its conjugate. So it, that brackets conjugate would be 24th root of 5 minus 1. This is the most important step for solving this problem. So 24th minus 1. 24th root of 5 minus 1 in the numerator and denominator. Now see the effect of that. What we will do after that. See if I will consider now these two brackets. Then I am writing separately. 24th root of 5 plus 1 times 24th root of 5 minus 1. See what will happen. If I will consider one bracket as a, see, I will consider this term as a, this term as b. Again, this term is a, I will presume this is b. Now you can see it is written a plus b times a minus b. So what we will write? We have to write a square minus b square. So if I will consider a square, so that is 24th root of 5 whole square minus 1 whole square. Simple. So what we will get from here? It will become 5, 12th root of 5 minus 1. See this is the ultimate usage of the identity. Okay. Now see what is left. In this place we can write 12th root of 5 minus 1. Now I will do the same thing for these two brackets. Same job. I will continue with the bracket. So let me write here again. 12th root of 5 plus 1. 12th root of 5 minus 1. Again I will think this is my A. This is my B. This is my A. This is my B. A square minus B square. I will write 5 raised to the power 1 over 12 whole square minus 1 whole square. So by the exponent property a power b whole power c you can think like that also a power b times c. So I will be having 5 power 1 over 12 times 2 minus 1 which is 6th root of 5 it will get cancelled out minus 1. Okay. Now from these two terms I will get let me write here 6th root of 5 minus 1. Okay. Now see up to this extent we have got this. Now same job we will do for these two brackets now. So what I will be writing I will write directly now 6th root of 5 plus 1 times 6th root of 5 minus 1. Let me write directly cube root of 5 minus 1. Okay. So at last step what I will be writing from these two terms I will be writing cube root of 5 minus 1. See how it will be. Now these two terms only left. This one and this one. Only this one and this one. Okay. Let's write it separately. So I will write cube root of 25 minus 1 divided by cube root of 
5 plus 1, the very first bracket of the denominator. And then we concluded with the cube root of 5 minus 1. This was x and we reduced up to this extent. Okay. Now again I will apply the same thing. Okay. Cube root of 5 plus 1, cube root of 5 minus 1. So what we can write? We will write cube root of 25 minus 1. Either you can resolve denominator or you can think about numerator also. Now I will write cube root of 5 whole square minus 1. Okay. And what about that numerator? Numerator with the multiplied that term was 24th root of 5 minus 1. Don't forget about this. This will play very crucial role. 24th root of 5 minus 1. So I will write here also 24th root of 5 minus 1. Okay. Now it is what we simplified actually. Now you can see the denominator. Let me write only that part. It is not needed to write again and again. See this is numerator. See it will be 5 power 1 over 3 whole square minus 1. This is our denominator. So I can swap my exponents using the same property of exponent. So I will write 5 a square whole cube minus 1. So it will give us 25 whole power 1 over 3 minus 1 which is written in the numerator. Cube root of 25 minus 1. So I am going to cancel this term and this term finally because both are same. Now what is left? That is ultimate re reduced form. So I will write x is equal to 24th root of 5 minus 1. Now target on this expression only which I have to find out. Okay. So x plus 1 is needed. So add both sides 1. So I will be having x plus 1 equal to 24th root of 5 done. Now what is required? That is 48th power. See here it is and 72 power. So if I will raise both sides power 24 then I will be having x plus 1 whole power 24 that would be equal to 5. Done. Now what is needed? 48. So first I will write x plus 1 whole power 48. How it will come out? If I will take a square of both sides. If I will consider a squaring here, a squaring here. So these two will give us 24 times 2 will be 48. So what I will, will be having in the RHS? I will write 5 square, so 25. Now come to the third value which is required here. The third value that is power 72. So x plus 1 whole power 72 will be, I have to consider cube here. Okay. So I will be having 5 cube. That will be equal to 125. Now let's find out the final value. 25 and 125. So if I will write here, this value is 25. This value is 125. So answer becomes 150. This is how we will proceed, think and simplify. Let's end the video here. I hope you liked it. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.